In the Kimberley, we are stepping up to stop strep A and end rheumatic heart disease because Aboriginal people in Australia are suffering from rheumatic heart disease too young and needing heart surgery. And that's a big problem. Australia is supposed to be a good, lucky, wealthy country, but we've got some of the highest rates of rheumatic heart in the world. This sickness starts with strep A skin sores or a strep A sore throat. If you happen to get a strep germ and it gets to your sore throat or into your skin sores, that can make you very sick and that can lead to the fever and then damage to the heart, which is the rheumatic heart disease. But it's 100% preventable, we can stop it. It's important to recognise the early signs and symptoms of a strep A infection. As soon as you see these signs and symptoms, you must go to the clinic for help. Our job is about how we can stop strep A from making our kids sick. We can stop this sickness by working and learning together and taking action to prevent strep A and end RHD. Strep A is a bacteria that lives on the surface that looks clean. It's not about the dirt, it's so small that we can't see it. It lives in our homes all the time. Nirenbrook Environmental Health works together with you, your family and community to stop sickness and to maintain healthy environments that give us our best health. There are some really important things that we need to do at home to prevent strep A infections for our family. Some of these things are having a shower every day in hot water. Brushing your teeth every day. Washing your hands with lots of soap and really well. Don't share your towels either. This is very important. By sharing towels, we're sharing the bacteria as well. And keeping your skin clean and covering any skin sores or cuts. If you need help in your home with making sure that it's a healthy home, then the Nirenbrook Environmental Health Services can also help you. And this is us looking at things like your toilet, your hot water system, leaking taps, long grass for mosquitoes, and what we can do to help fix these problems in your home. It might be that you don't have a washing machine, you, you can't do these things, uh, it could be through overcrowding. Having your dog treated for ticks and fleas is really important as well. These are the things we go and work with the patient with, and it's not for us to come and do all the work, we'll go and we'll explain this is why you're getting sick from this. This is where it could be starting from. So we work with you, the, the patient, that you understand as much as what we do about where, where this is coming from and what you can do to prevent that same thing happening again. If you or any of your family have any concerns, you're more than welcome to go to the doctor and ask for an environmental health referral. You can also speak to your nurse and your Aboriginal health worker. The other option is always self-referring. We're more than happy to come and visit you whenever you guys need our help.